Currently, we are at the Fairview Cemetery in Liberty, Missouri, just a little bit outside of Kansas City. And uh, today, we're going to visit the grave of Ryan Allen Scott Vandenbroder. This was a grave I've seen a picture of online, I want to say about a month ago. And I thought it was a very awesome looking stone. And as I approach it right now from behind, I think you guys are going to be uh, quite in amazement of uh, this uh, unique looking stone right here. And it is a rhino. And it looks very awesome. And I wish uh, you guys can see it right in front of you. And uh, this is his marker right here. So according to the obituary, uh, Ryan passed away into the arms of a waiting God on August 26, 2004. He filled the world with his loving ways and his enormous character. His kindness will transcend his death and remain with those who knew him. The tallest in his class, he was a defender of the meek and was a naturally gifted teacher of sportsmanship and the way to totally live one's faith in God. Almost always reading two or three chapter books simultaneously, Ryan was a voracious reader who had just entered the third grade at Franklin Elementary School in Liberty. He enjoyed all subjects and was passionate about football. He was an up and coming nose tackle for the North Suburban Youth Football League's Jets Football Club. And additionally, Ryan medaled as a member of the Liberty Storm swim team. He played baseball for Clay Platt Black Tigers and played basketball in the Liberty Parks and Recreation League. Ryan formally proclaimed his relationship with Christ with his baptism at the age of four. The energy that he put into his faith outshined even his passion for sports and academics. His nature, deeply abiding and extremely natural. Ryan's words and actions consistently proclaimed his beliefs in Christ's love. He knew even as a boy that he had been called into the ministry. A uh, very short life. Uh, he was only uh, eight years old. And uh, let me tell you, it, this, this marker right here in 100 years, as people that ha live in this neighborhood and live in this town and just pass by, even though stories fade, when people come here to look at this stone, it speaks it just it speaks to you about this kid and his character and I don't I don't know him and I, I don't know what happened to him uh, there's a story online saying that how he possibly had died but I I can't cooperate that I don't know but uh, I don't think it's really important how he passed simply here just to show you a a very unique and uh, beautiful grave marker. That is all. May Ryan rest in peace. And I hope that uh, if anybody is ever in the Kansas City metro area, come on up to Liberty and check this out. It is it is a awesome sight. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I'm in the road. I'm glad I stopped by. Now the sun is finally out. Now the sun is finally out. All right. I'll catch up with y'all on the next one. Peace out.